I honestly never thought that the time to make this video would come. Um, and I'm honestly really nervous to be filming it. Um, I just have some news that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I made an album. <laughs> I'm so sorry for clickbaiting you. I don't think in like the seven years I've been doing YouTube have I once clickbaited, <laughs> but this is for a special cause, okay? I really just wanted to let you guys all know what I've been working on, you know, why I haven't been as active, why I haven't been making as many paintings and other kinds of art. Um, it's cause, you know, for the past year and a half, I've been working day and night to teach myself how to sing, <laughs> how to write songs, how to produce them, how to play, piano, guitar, the voice, and it's been one hell of a learning experience. I've failed over and over and over again, but I've also succeeded in small ways, and I've compiled those small successes into an album. But yeah, this has been a long road of self-doubt, failure, frustration, but also learning so much, not only about like how to make music, um, but really how to like extend my creative self in this new direction. And you know, I, I really do consider myself an interdisciplinary artist, um, but before that was more in terms of like mediums, like I draw, I paint, I make installations, I make videos, I do performance, I I can embroider, but music was something that always just intrigued me so much. What made me want to learn how to create my own music was just like going to concerts and just feeling that collective spirit and watching the performer have so much fun just doing their thing, but also just how my friends, how my peers interact with music. Like it's, it touches people and it's an experience for people that's very different than how someone would observe a painting in a gallery. It's a little more accessible and easier to consume. Um, we carry it around with us on our phones. You could argue that music just has this different function than painting, than looking at a painting. And I just wanted to know how my paintings would sound. So I've just been playing around and learning and building this body of work for a year now and and they aren't like finished, polished, perfect songs. They are the learning process. And, and what I'm sharing with you is the learning process and that is very vulnerable and that's why I'm very nervous. But you guys are the best and you always support me in whatever I choose to do and you were so supportive of the first two songs that I put out. So, you know, I'm a little more excited than I am nervous. You know when you're like working on a painting or working on something for hours and hours and hours or like you listen to a word over and over again until you don't know what it sounds like anymore? That's what this album has been. I don't know what genre it is. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, didn't, I don't know what it sounds like anymore because I've been working on it every day for like weeks on end. Months, months on end, honestly. I just kind of want you to know and remember that um, that the whole album was written, produced, and recorded by me in this very room right here. I'm not at the point yet where I'm like working with any producers or like actual musicians or songwriters and whatever. So everything you hear 100% comes from me. Except there are two little features, uh, one of them by Lauren and one of them by Ruben, uh, who are both amazing at guitar. So there's little snippets in there where they're playing guitar and they made it sound so awesome. But, um, the rest of it and the structures of the songs themselves, the base of them, all comes from me. I recorded it on the mic. <laughs> I, re I recorded it on this mic right here um, at this desk in this room. So, I mean, if you think it sounds bootleg, it's because it is, but it is just such a genuine expression of me and my being and it all comes from my internal world. So that's very vulnerable, but I think and I hope you will enjoy it. 
The album comes out Thursday, August 1st. Um, it's called Offering. It has 10 songs on it. And so on Thursday, it will be available on YouTube, SoundCloud, and Bandcamp, which I will leave in the comments below. The day it comes out, I will link it up. Um, also all over my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, you'll see links everywhere, so you'll know where to find it. And then kind of the next couple of weeks or so, it will start to come out on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Google Music, all that good stuff. So it does take some time to process into stores, but it will be fully accessible and available for free on Thursday, August 1st on YouTube, SoundCloud, and Bandcamp. So. I hope you join me on that day to listen to what I've been working on and this journey into a new medium for me. I'm an artist who's really big on hearing about, talking about, and learning about other artists' process. I don't think you should keep too much of your process a secret. I think it's really cool to share. And I think what I've made here with this album um, just really aligns with my belief and my passion in DIY art and bedroom pop because there are so many incredible artists with incredible ideas who don't have the money or the resources to get the super high production, like crazy polished, professional, expensive ass process. And I didn't, I know I didn't. Um, so I think it's important to not only showcase, but also open up about how I did that and how you can too, if you feel inclined to delve into something new that you maybe don't have the resources for. Um, and also like DIY art, micro cinema, stuff made with like cheaper materials or a lower budget to me is so important because like we all have the desire to make things but not all of us have the budget or just the resources to make that so I think that like DIY art, bedroom pop in general is just so important and it is important for those artists to just be open about how they made it work for them. So with that, after that long rant, I'm sorry. Uh, I would love to answer any questions you have about the album after you listen to it. I love hearing about what certain lyrics mean and like what the artist envisioned when they were writing a song or making a piece. Um, so if you have any questions about lyrics or how I made a certain sound or just the album in general, please leave it down below and on my Instagram, I'll be doing a little like Q&A post every day kind of after the album. And I would just love to hear what you guys want to know about it and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say about the album. I mean, it'll be out Thursday and you guys can listen to it then. And I'm really excited to hear your thoughts and your questions. Um, so I'm just gonna leave you with kind of my artist statement or just a little like thank you message. Uh, to go along with the album. And here it goes. Oh, and the album's called Offering, so if you hear any wordplay, then that's that, that's that's what that is. And here I go, offering you this piece of me of which I spent this past year uncovering, examining, and polishing. As I unveil a new extension of my creative being, I offer you a glimpse into what that means for me, growing outwards and learning to live through my chest. I'm offering you my words and how I've learned to use them my sensory experience and what that sounds like. An experiment, not a masterpiece. Strength and vulnerability. An offer with no expectations. However, all I can hope for is that you feel my intentions through these wavelengths and experience the passion I felt while creating them. I'd like to think that there's a sliver of something here for everyone and I hope that you resonate with your piece. Thank you for allowing and encouraging me to grow in whichever direction. And I really do mean that. You guys have always been so supportive of whatever I choose to do and, and already the support I've received on just hearing about your excitement for this album has been really, really touching and has been the thing pushing me to finish this and to release this. And I've been having a lot of like self-doubt and I've thought so many times about turning back and, and not releasing this at all just because I don't know how it's going to be read, but um your guys' excitement and your willingness to just hear me out and see what I make is really cool and I um, really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, um, offering out August 1st. <laughs> okay, I love you guys, bye.